job ever. I'm a bubble wrap fiend. I'm a Liz one pot pair mug. <laughs> so, guess what? Dad's moving. Well, you're not bringing this whole thing. I'll have you know this is a... Oh, oh what's the word? I, I, uh, it begins with an H. It is? Heirloom. We're not moving far. In fact, we're not even leaving the building. But the new flat is bigger and way cooler. It's a fresh new start. And I'm so excited, I feel like I'm about to... Bubble wrap? Why didn't you tell me? Honestly, you're such a big kid. my bubble wrap. <laughs> right, come here you. We'll miss this flat, but something had to give. What with Amber's law and me and Lauren. But we're stuffed in like a pile of moody hamsters. Oh. So gone. I'm as moisty. We eat in shifts, remember? Yeah, so shift. <sighs> Jake had to sit on the bin. But Dad made us emergency pancakes. We love his pancakes. And he's not exactly stingy with syrup. Mm. <laughs> guess what, guess what? Mrs. McLeish is moving into sheltered accommodation. Yay! Yay. Great. So her flat's for rent? And it's got three bedrooms. Yes! <laughs> so Dad rang up and he got it. And now we're off with it, a backward look. Oh, Millie, we're going to miss the big moment. <laughs> what have you got in here? Books. And my bookshelf. Really? Hey, hey, should score. Must score. Score! Score! Oh, you actually see the ball on that teeny weeny screen? Hello. This is Trey. Alright. Oh, yes, thanks, Trey. Oh, never fancy Bicky. Bicky? Bicky? Don't be embarrassing, you've got five. Hell, bro. So. The mother of Wait, 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 wait. Carry her in. Oh, no. You're no, right, no. pal. You come on now. Come no, no, no. Oh, come on. Wait, this oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, the carpet does make you feel a bit sick. Looks like someone already has been. Yeah, if I want to talk about carpets. Come on. Cool living room. Wow, it has a kitchen. Oh, we've started redecorating. I've got zones and beans. Ah, uh, and I've got paint and a brush. Wow, loving this room. This is so many. Oh, this is the master bedroom, sweetheart, sorry. Aye, for the master. Mm-hmm, but I'll share it with you. Ah, oh, come on, there's two more bedrooms. Go. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Someone call 999 design. Hello? They're going to at least wait at first. Come on. Come on, my Wow. What lucky boy gets this room? <laughs> This is great. Our first day together as a proper family. Aww. Come on. Mm. <laughs> oh, hi, you two. What do you reckon? A plush. Bags in a chest. Oh, don't want to start with the bagsies. You can't undo a bagsie. Hang on. What about me? I'm too old to share with a boy anymore. Well, he's not a boy. He's just chic. Well, they're only here half the time. They can share with him. Hello? Have you, in fact, literally lost your mind? Back to the other bedroom. Oh. <laughs> This could get tricky without a plan. Please tell me you have a plan. Of course. We let them decide. Oh, we're all one family now. We just let them figure it out. Kids have a natural sense of fair play. What are you doing? I am meditating. It is mentally cleansing. As Buddha says, this is spiritual, under your spell, phenomenal, the way you make me feel. Hey, wasn't that Katy Perry? Not that I listened to her. 
well, we want to watch TV. So, um, no sweat. I shall find somewhere else. Oh, wavy gums. Is that your dad, bro? <laughs> no. No. He's the lodger. Oh, son. I signed that permission slip. It's in your school bag. Thank you very much for doing that. Well, my dad's away. What have you been doing? Nothing. Jan, be reasonable. One for us, one for you guys. That's fair. No! Jakey has crisps on my bed. I have to change in the bathroom. Annie calls me Fram Pants. <laughs> She's being so stubborn. I mean, it's obvious you and I should share the room, but we just have to wait until... What are you doing? Unpacking. Watch the door. We have to establish ownership. Looks like we just got owned. I'm just gonna say it. Do you get the feeling like this is a new start? But for them. What? No, I... Look, it's bad enough I have to share with you. Why should I share with her as well? She's got her own annoying sibling. Maybe we should just talk to her about it. Mm -hmm. I say we get Dad to stick up for us. Because if he won't, who will? Hmm? Thanks, Tony. My room's amazing. Ah, your room. So you've decided between yourselves, though. That's great. His room? Dad, can you just tell them? We're sharing one room and that they can have the other one. You've talked to them about it, right? No, we thought you'd back us up. Uh, I don't think it's fair to take sides, love. It's much better if you sort it out yourselves. Not take sides. He is our dad. So what do we do now? The way I see it, we're like the two Cinderella's in that fairy tale. There's only one Cinderella. Whatever. I mean, they're the new family and we're in the way. But Dad wouldn't just choose... It's Cinderella all over again. Who does he choose? The goose that lays the golden egg or the ugly ducklings? Well, that fairy tale really does have you after the same. Go down! Anna, you free! Get out! Oh, we need to do something. Like what? I don't know. You were the ideas person. But we can't just make Dad choose. Why not? Because he may choose to side with them. Oh. Would it help if I lie on the living room floor and freak out? Let's make that plan B. So what is plan A? Girls, are you okay in there? Won't be a minute! Um, hello, we need to hurry. Okay, look, does it really matter where we sleep? I am not sleeping in the bathtub, if that is what you were thinking. So let's just sleep full time at Mum's. What? And give up altogether. No, we're not giving up. Dad wants us to sort this out for ourselves, right? Well, we are. We're taking control. Millie, that is genius! Well, I don't like to boast, but... We take control, threaten to leave, and then force Dad to choose us. You're a ruthless girl. No, no, that's not what I said. Okay, that was not the plan. I guess it might work. Hiya, hiya, only me. I brought the tea tray. Tea, tray, tea, tray, eh, tray? What are you doing? Well, I've come to have a cup of it. No, it's okay. Really. Listen, how about you, uh, get back to your meditating? Seeing as you're still rocking those weird trousers. <laughs> Craig said my trousers are weird. Oh, to be fair, he has got a point. Are you saying my loose-fitting yogic loons are... Embarrassing. Yeah. <sighs> Why say please? Oh, for a second there, I thought it was me. Oh, not that old thing. My theme for this zone is called cool Vibes, not 70s Motel. Well, where shall I put it then? Don't tempt me. Cheeky. <laughs> there you two. You're off somewhere. Hey, Dad. I've got this whole bedroom thing sussed. Well, you have. Well, that's great. Yeah, the plan is Millie's. Um, yeah. We've decided to sleep at Mum's. Full time. At uh, Mum's? That way there's room for everyone, including Princess Fran. But there's bags of room here. I'm sure we can work out a way. Such as? Well, um, um, like, um, Fran? I'm not sharing with Jake. Well, I'm having my own room. Okay, so, uh... Look, Dad, look, it's fine. We'll still come here all the time. You'll hardly notice we're gone. <sighs> of course I'll notice. If that's what you really want. Yeah. Yes. I don't get it. When are they coming back? 
I don't know, Jake. Let's just wait and see, hey. What are you two trying to pull? We've just been reasonable. Because someone had to be. And let's face it, it wasn't going to be you, Fran Pants. Hey, uh, sorry about before. You must have thought Craig's old man's a bit weird. Just a regular guy in weird trousers. So, are you coming on later then? Uh, coming where? Oh, didn't Craig mention it? We go bird spotting on Saturdays. His first time out, he bagged two wagtails and a tree creeper. Dad! I went there once, all right? And you swore you wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm proud of you, son. No lie, bro. He's a born twitcher. It's not my trousers. It's me, isn't it? I embarrass him. So? I've been embarrassing my girls for years. Learn to enjoy it. But Craig and me, we're mates. No splash. They find new mates. Seriously. Oh, don't worry. Best thing to do is just leave them alone. Well, how long for? About ten years should do it. Well, isn't this nice? I tried that, I didn't like it. So it's good we don't have to keep going back and forth. You know how stressed you get when you forget your banking? And what you're talking about? Where is our banking? <gasps> I don't believe it! Like, the banking! <sighs> okay, it's not a big deal, it just helps me sleep, alright? Even when I'm in the wrong bed! Okay, so it's not ideal, but I had to come up with something. And I think we're being very mature. So everyone here took the news pretty well. More or less. Well, of course you can sleep here full time. This is your home. No, you can't. There's enough hairballs in the shower as it is. Craig, you can't just spring this on me. I'm not psychologically prepared. Well, next time will arrange cancelling. Except Craig, but he'll get used to it. Yo, so my mate's coming over tomorrow, which means you two can go out and stay out. Actually... I think I was going to invite my friends over for a soap -a hmm? No, this is my time. When I get a break from my girly oppressors. <laughs> Sorry. Stop. No. This is not over. It makes me feel secure. This luck has seen me through some dark times. How did getting a bigger place mean we can't all be together? You did say they should sort it out for themselves. Why didn't you stop me? <sighs> Clearly a stupid idea. Now my girls have gone. You can always call them, ask them to come back. I know. I don't have to like their choice, but I have to respect it. I wonder what happened there. Well, keeping two families happy, it's like spinning plates, and spinning plates is not one of Tony's strong points. Well, it's managed okay till now. Oh, it looked that way, didn't it? But it was to clear up after when they get back from the flat of anarchy. No, it's, it's better this way. You know, I've got to go after them properly. Make sure they get their veggies in. Don't get to bed early. Keep the room tidy. All right, so Dad doesn't exactly crack the whip. I don't even think he knows what a whip is. You two still up? What time is it? Not gonna lie, Dad. It's late. I'm hungry. Who fancies pancakes? Oh, me! <laughs> Which is kind of fun. No, Mum's right. We're better off here.
<laughs> what, group home spoons? <sighs> we need to get organised. Who needs the organiser? Well, they don't like us anymore. Is it Millie and Lauren? You don't really think that, do you? They left, didn't they? I thought they cared about us more than some stupid room. Guess I was wrong. Oh, I'm sitting on bubble wrap. Ooh, guess what? I made pancakes. Oh, yum. I'm going to put kale crunchies on mine. What's up? I'm just dad's pancakes. These are like all healthy or something. Well, let's go eat after. No, I want them in my pyjamas. They don't taste the same once you have to get dressed. And that's in no way unreasonable. <sighs> oh, girls. Remember, you two are going out. No, we're not. <sighs> and I know that this is such a great idea. Because we are in control. Yeah, right. Craig, Craig, maybe I could take you and Craig go-karting later if you want. No, thanks, mate. See, this is the bro zone. And the girls here are going out. Have fun. So it looks like we're not welcome here either. Craig's shoving us out and Lauren's blaming me. Great. Well, at least Mike's still happy. Craig never says no to go going. I've lost him, Millie. I'm going round to Dad's. Who knows? Maybe he's missing us. Hey. He's on the way up. <gasps> okay. Remember, respect our choice. Okay, remember, don't make them choose. Molly, this is a nice surprise. Told you we'd be around all the time. Liking the colour. Hey, well, it's starting to come together. Now we got rid of one or two of our old things. Old things? And Amber's got some bright ideas about Fan and Jake's rooms. Rooms? One for each of them, then. Aye, you were right. It's a great idea. It really works. Oh, and I would hate to throw away my old rug. Do you and Lauren fancy having it at Mum's? No, we don't want your smelly old rug. We wanted a room. And by the way, you've rolled over a light switch. Get a grip. It was my idea. And it's fine that Dad's so happy. And I bet Fran's having a bottle in her new room. Everything's going great. Now well, you've got rid of us. What? You walked out. Em, you made it pretty clear that you didn't want to share. With Jake, I'm not allowed to say that. You can't have your own room and us here too, Fran. That's impossible. Unless we defy gravity and sleep on the ceiling. Well, I do want you here. But not if you hate us. We don't hate you. We just don't want to make Dad choose. Because he picked Amber and you two. As if. Your dad's been moping around like a depressed tortoise ever since you left. What? He was full of the joys just now. He's pretending. For you. You know, for smart kids, you can be really dumb. This is a disaster. If this is Cinderella, then everything just turns back into mason pumpkins. I need my ugly sister over here. Big man! See, yo. Welcome. And I told you, all right, this is the bro zone. I need to go to my dad's anyway, so. See ya! Mm. Hey man, I saw this really cool bird on the way over. Yeah? What? You mean a girl? No, mate, a bird. Thought you'd know what it was? Alright. Oh, yeah, nah, I'm not really. That's a woodpecker. Yeah? Yeah. What? Pecks wood then, does it? Oh, hi, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. This is supposed to ward off evil spirits. You like, uh, doing martial arts, then? Where there is preparation, there is no fear. Yeah? So what if I did this? Ah! Oh, sorry, Trey, it's my martial arts training. Are you literally the most embarrassing dad ever? You're, you're right, mate. Yeah, yeah, fine, just lucky I landed on me, Ed. I'll tell you what, Trey, how about we go to my bedroom and then, who knows, maybe we won't get attacked. Look, look, wait. Look, that was awesome. Could you show me how to do that? Well, that one's a bit advanced, but I could teach you something like this. Hey! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> that is so sick, boy, mate. Your dad is a ledge. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. He did say take a go kart later if we wanted. For real? Sweet. Oi, big at my, uh, I spotted a woodpecker earlier on. Wanna see? <laughs> 
just don't get what I did wrong. Well, you didn't try to stop us leaving, did you? Well, why would I? I let you work it out for yourselves, and you said that's what you wanted. What we see and what we mean are two different things. And you tried to palm us off with your flea-ridden rug. Why, well, that old rug means a lot to me. Look, I want you back. Us getting a new place was meant to make things easier. And now I feel like I'm losing you. Wait, so if you had to choose... Morden, what are you doing? If you had to choose between us and them, who would you choose? You can't ask me to make that choice. It's impossible. I thought so. Come on, Millie. Wait, wait, hold on. Is that what all this was about? A test to see which of my families I love the most? No. Well, it does sound a bit like that. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't choose. Because I haven't got two families. I've got one. And wherever I am, even if it's a box at the side of the road, there will always be a place for my two girls. Okay, so how are we going to sort out the room? We'll do what we should have done in the first place. Make Fran live in the hall? <laughs> no. We'll sit down and talk it over. I'm not sharing with anyone. Like I nobody wants you. Couldn't you three girls share? What? And he gets a room on his own? He made him king. But if we all shared them and me and Lauren were at Mum's, you'd have a room to yourself. Okay, but there's no way you could fit three beds and all your stuff into my room. Period. Thinking out of the box, we need a bigger room. Where are we going to get her? Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, no way. You want us to work? We need the master bedroom. Yeah. 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 And this is what happens when you let them work it out themselves. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> I decided that I'd be able to cope. Oh, Amber. <laughs> what? Nothing. Does it have fleas? What? No. Like small ones. Like, it's my fault. Okay, I should have brought myself They might be able to come and pick it up. Oh, Amber, come on, don't be hasty. It house. makes me feel secure. So here we are, like the sea bears. Who's been lying in my bed? Was it you, Fran Pants? No, but I will when you're gone. My shoes on your pillow. Remind me. Does anyone actually like you? I like her. Oh, that's why I just gang off on me. Okay, I need your stuff. Okay, so it's not a fairy tale ending, but it may just work. Hey, that's my side. No, I get more space because I'm the eldest. Yeah, but I'm here longer. <laughs>